Calculate Linux. Kind of name is that, huh? To calculate something sounds kind of like compute something, like computer rendering, which has something to do with like CUDA. But Calculate Linux isn't anything like that. Well, I mean, I guess it could be, but this is DistroDelves. We're going to be looking at Calculate Linux as a desktop with a side of cinnamon. Calculate is based on Gentoo. Remember Sabion Linux? Well, now let's see a different take using Gentoo as a base for a desktop. So Calculate has its very own installer thing. Found it a little confusing at first, but I eventually figured it out. The localization is a little bit weird, but everything makes sense. You can configure most things about your system here, and it's not too verbose. Like, every section has a little advanced section for more advanced installs, I guess. I did have some trouble with the disk partitioning section. It was, like, weirdly stingy about how much space I was allocating, so I wound up only allocating 10 gigabytes, which I ran into issues with later on. The networking settings were a little bit weird, too. I wound up just setting it to manual mode and just moved on. It seemed to work fine. You can also tell the installer which display drivers to pre-install here too, which is pretty darn cool. Jumping ahead to the post install, it actually installs the NVIDIA drivers before the initial login, so like not during the install really, which is pretty damn impressive, honestly. Remember, this is Gentoo we're looking at. And it all worked. Forgive me for being surprised, but I doubted my own abilities to install this thing. I was expecting to have screwed something up during the install, but it all worked. Even my NVIDIA drivers installed just fine. I was able to connect to the network just fine. So yeah, this is the Cinnamon desktop here. It's a pretty traditional layout, I think. There's a panel on the bottom, which I didn't even realize was there until way later on. A fresh install of Calculate Linux weighs in at 8.2 gigabytes, and here at idle, Calculate with Cinnamon is using just shy of 800 megabytes of memory. Now I haven't used many Cinnamon desktops outside of Mint, so I was excited to try this one out, but there's nothing terribly special about it besides maybe the layout. The theme looks a tiny bit like Vanilla Gnome, but with that signature Cinnamon style or blandness if you prefer. There are a lot of different backgrounds, which were mostly just alternate takes on the default background, which is fine. There's not really a lot happening in the themes department, just a default Cinnamon and Gnome stuff. And it appeared to plug right into the Cinnamon Spices thing, so you can download more themes and desklets here if you want to, too. The top bar is very Gnome 2-like, and since we're looking at the applet tray, let's go ahead and check out Bluetooth support. So connecting to my device was pretty easy, but it didn't seem to integrate with the system at all. Like, you know how sometimes when you sync a device like your phone to a computer, it figures out what music you were listening to, like if you were on YouTube or Spotify or something, and sometimes it even switches to the output? There wasn't anything like that here. Now the default app selection was a little bit on the heavy side with lots and lots of apps for just about everything. Calculate also has a custom tool called Calculate Console, which reminded me an awful lot of Yast with all of the things it can do. Not a bad thing at all. I wasn't actually able to find very much information about this thing, but it looks like it can be used to manually administer remote Calculate instances too, like Calculate Linux distros installed elsewhere, which is pretty cool. And you can update the system from here too, as well as change the repositories that it plugs into. Again, very similar to Yast. I also found this really cool little app pre-installed called CPU-X, which is, you guessed it, the Linux version of CPU-Z, unofficial of course. It's really cool though, it has this weird benchmarking feature thing built in. I'm surprised I've never seen this before. And while the update's running in the background, we might as well test out some media files and stuff. I was able to mount my encrypted internal drive and my SD card right out of the box with Calculate, that's awesome. And all my archive files open and extracted just fine too. Some of the audio files opened in the video player while others opened in Rhythmbox, and all of the video files opened and played in the video player and none of them had any issues. In the way of applications, the app images worked just fine, but only one of them asked me to install it to the system. I wonder what's so special about Hasty Heroes. And neither Flatpak nor Snaps were supported out of the box, and the Flatref file opened in an ebook reader instead of a text editor. It's pretty weird. So like I said earlier, I didn't realize it at first because it's hidden by default, but there's a little panel on the bottom. So it's not really like a dock, but more of a hidden cinnamon panel. It's kind of a, an odd choice. So remember at the beginning, Calculate didn't like the disk size I set during the install? Well, 10 gigabytes wasn't enough and the update filled the drive right up. 
I just went ahead and reinstalled it and set the root partition to a little bit larger size, but that's when I realized that there's no GUI application to install apps. Calculate has a CLI tool that lets you install binary packages, which is pretty handy for Gentoo stuff. I had to look up how to use it, but I was able to install the Steam installer this way and everything worked just fine, so that's pretty good. The first game up is War Thunder, which ran just okay. It's nothing bad, but nothing great either. Probably averaged about eh, 30 frames a second, which is good enough on the high graphics preset. Obviously, you could crank the graphics down a bit to squeeze more frames, but I think this is just fine. And now, how about some Cluster Truck? I remember when this game first came to Linux, man, it was all the rage for a while. And for good reason, too. It's really fun. On the forest map, though, everything felt really, like, washed out. Everything was, it was just too white. The controls and frames felt great, but it just didn't look that good. I jumped over to a darker map, and it looked a little better, but still things that were like glowing looked a little washed out for some reason. But if you haven't played this game, you really should. Not many games get me panting like Cluster Truck does. And the game we'll go out on is Interstellar Marines, another great and underrated game, I think. The frame rate was fine, but the controls didn't feel very fluid at all. It was almost like stuttery. This game can be pretty spooky, but the feel of the controls really broke the immersion, and that's a shame. Calculate Linux is an interesting one. Its target users are, I think, power users and professionals. They offer the regular desktop version, which is what I used here, but also a server and a cloud and container and testing versions. It's pretty damn ambitious for a Gentoo-based Linux distro, to be honest. Gentoo is really what makes Calculate stand out, and being built on Gentoo, it doesn't use System D, opting for OpenRC instead. And given that Gentoo is, or I guess can, be configured to run very, very fast, the performance in games I played didn't really impress me at all. Even in games like Interstellar Marines here, where the frame rate was high, it felt sluggish, and I couldn't really put my paw on why. And maybe that was Cinnamon's doing, like the compositor was doing something stupid, but I don't know, I was just expecting a bit more. I've heard and seen people talk about Calculate Linux recently, and I mean, it's fine, I guess. It's a Linux distro that's based on Gentoo instead of Ubuntu for a change, so that's cool. But honestly, I don't really have much of an opinion about it. I think if you like Gentoo and you really want to use Gentoo but not build it up from the bottom like from scratch, you want to install it using an installer or some custom tools to help you tweak it and stuff, Calculate is probably exactly what you're looking for.